Alright, we are here today in Rosharon C2C Mentos LLC with my main partner. Salute, Mike McElroy, A Purpose Property Inspections. Good. So Mike, we are here today on a pre-drywall inspection. I know that that's your favorite. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, why, why is it important to do that? Well, nice and quick. I like pre-drywall inspections, but we do a walkthrough. We look for, you know, things like that are missing that you can't see once they put the drywall on. Wonderful. So we look at that now, you know, to make sure that we catch it and let the builder know before they cover it up. Because once they do that, hey, 50 years, 60 years down the road, you'll never know it was there. So <laughs> Wonderful. That's why we do it. Just so that the public know, if you want to know what's a pre-drywall inspection, you can call it a pre-sheet rock. Correct. Right? Pre-sheet rock. Yeah, pre-sheet rock. That's before they cover the walls. Right. Make sure you do an inspection. Mm -hmm. oh, even if you cannot afford a professional inspector like Mike, make sure you talk to the builder so right. they can do a pre-drywall walkthrough. Right. And when you take a look at this video, you can be informed and tell them what you expect. Right. All right, it's Mike. Also known as a phase inspection. So. Oh, a phase. Phase inspect. Pre-drywall phase. Phase inspection. Post-construction phase. Post-construction phase. So, oh, okay. So this is the first one. Yeah. First phase inspection. First phase inspection yeah, is right. the pre-drywall. Yeah. Then the last phase now when the house Correct. is completed. Correct. Okay. You can even go further back if you want to look at the, um, you know, the, the foundation. The foundation. Form. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. But so far. In the pre-drywall, you can still check the foundation, right? Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So let's go inside and see what we have. All right. Boom. Hello. Yes. So we are here today on a pre-drywall inspection. Uh, Mr. Mike A. Purpose Property Inspections flying the drone up on the roof to make sure, you know, everything is up to standard. That's the drone right there. That's the drone. You can see that? Yeah. So it's flying up the roof to make sure everything is... The roof is tight. There are no shingles that are hanging. There are no holes up there. That the, the quality, the quality of the roof is exactly what the builder had promised. Because sometimes the builder can promise you something else and deliver something else. So this is very good. I'll get up there for the final. We're starting. We're starting with the roof. Okay, Mike. So you say you, you're gonna get up there for the for the for the final inspection. Yeah. For the roof. Yep. Okay. Yep. Wonderful. So, Mike, I, I can see this is an exterior wall. Correct. I can already see the problem. Right. What, what, what do you think it is? There are no, <laughs> there, there are no, uh, what do you call it? Rafter ties. Oh, no, rafter ties. Right. No blocking, no rafter. No blocking, no rafter ties. So what do you call rafter ties? Well, rafter ties, you see this metal right here, right? Which one? This metal bracket right here. Oh, yes. You okay. That? Oh, on, yes. That's on that one, that one, that, that one. one. And they just stop. They stop. <laughs> okay. But it's, you know, this is all the exterior wall. All so. the exterior wall. There, there's no, there, there, uh, uh, no, no blocking, right? Right. Yeah. No blocking either? Yeah. You know? No blocking, that's all right. All the exterior wall. Yeah, all the exterior wall. Good wind come through here. Yeah. This wall is just. This wall is just, we yeah, exactly. It's uh, sturdy. It's sturdy. It might be if it was blocking like. Yeah. On this side, there's, there's only blocking here. I see the only block in there. But this is the interior wall. That's an interior wall, I see. This is the exterior wall. That's an exterior wall, exactly. So the blocking must must be there. But I see here, Mike, they have the they have the rafter, you call it rafter, rafter tile? Yep. They have rafter there. tile. So okay. tell me why on this exterior wall they have them. They have them? But not on this exterior but on, wall. But on, on this other side, they don't have them. Not all the way down. So that's the recommendation. Yeah. They, have, they have to have it. Here. I see they here. They have three here. They have three they here? Have three here. I guess they're saying that they can say that they could be saying that's strong enough to hold it. But to I hold it. Prefer here, here, all the way. You know? Okay, all the way. This is an exterior wall. That's an exterior wall. Certainly subject to wind. Okay. You know, if you're, if the garage was a, and a big wind came through, yeah, wind's all up in here. Yep, I see, <laughs> so, I see. So, you, so uh, you recommend the rafter tile all the way on, on this? I do. Okay, yep. on this block here. Yeah. Because it's an it's an exterior wall. Right. Okay. Uh, let me show you what a rafter tile is. The rafter tile, this is this is this is a rafter tile. So it ties the rafter up to the garage, right? Right. Yes. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, so here we here 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 are some things that you know when we talk about the pre-drywall, you know, it's real. This place here, Mike, is it is it okay? This space here, is it okay? Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think it's okay. Okay. We got some major block in here, but these are I think this is where two rooms. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not really a big deal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not really a big deal. Okay. The French door, probably. The French door. And uh, Mike here, same problem. Yep. 
no blocking. No blocking. Mm -hmm. No blocking here. This, this, this is an exterior wall. Note to see the note they put on. Yeah. Yeah, there's a note here I can see here. And even Mike here they have the blocking, you see, right. but but the plank, they kind of flip it the other way, right? right. So it's supposed to face you see like here, you see this one right here? That's good. Yeah. You see the plank is level like that. But if you come down here, you see this one, this one is flat. So this 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 is a problem. Like up here, no ties. Okay, Mike. So these are rafters. These are rafters, right? Yeah, no ties. No ties up there. No ties. no ties. You know, so to me, we we want to ask them why. We want to ask them why. Okay, <laughs> but here, Mike, I can see that this is an exterior wall. Correct. There are no no bracing, no bracing, no blocking, no blocking. <laughs> on this one, you can see, there's no rattle this, reason. Yeah, this one, yeah. It's not even an exterior wall. Yeah, this is not an exterior wall, but it has it. This is a closet, that? so this yeah, is that's a closet. So, but it, it, it has to go there. Right. So, Mike, this. This year, how do you how do you call this? That's a nail plate. A nail plate? Uh, yep. You you know when they put the drywall on, they don't want to puncture that. Okay. Because if they put a hole in that, yeah, it might take six months. It might take a year, two years. It'll be a slow leak. Okay. All this will be rotting down here. Oh. Right down. So okay. And then it'll rot that. So you know? so so every, everywhere in the house where they have a pipe, right. they have to have this this nail plate. Is that that's correct? Good. Correct. Okay, yes. but, 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 but that's not. That are missing. Yeah, there are some that are missing. Like for instance, here's a good that's, that's not the case that we have seen here. Right. You, okay, if you see here, now this, there's a pipe here. Mm -hmm. You see, there's a pipe. There's no nail plate. Right. So this could be a potential issue. Correct. All so right. They put that drywall, stick they put a nail that through it. Stick a nail through it. Bomb. Slow leak. Slow leak. You will never know it. <laughs> Over time. Yeah, you, you would know that? it on the first. You see that? Even down here, too, there's supposed to be one. There's no, 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 no nail plate. You see, that's 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 why I, a drain pipe, so. I, as it does, and that's a drain pipe. Yeah. That's why I insist on a pre-dry wall. You understand? Don't just don't just hurry to move buy a house, move into a house. No, 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 no. Ask the builder. You know, even if you don't want to hire a third-party inspector, which which I recommend. If you don't want to hire one, ask the builder to do a pre-dry wall walk right. in the house. Mm -hmm. Yes. And make sure you can look at these items and point it out to them. Right. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you, yeah. See, you, you see, Mike, we always say we cannot sell to every client, right? Right. But we have a responsibility to the community right. to educate everyone. Correct. Yes. That is what, that, that's what we do. It's even in our, uh, st our standard of operating. Oh, oh appreciate it. Yeah, that's right. To do good by the public. Do good by the public. I'm paraphrasing. But that's exactly. Paraphrasing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's not just about whether you are cli our client or not. Right, right. Yeah, it's about us giving you, the public, the right information. Correct. To, to, to serve and protect. Sure. sure. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I, I, I can also see here, Mike, you see this? This here too is no good. Right. Yeah, this is rot. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, You like I said, you, 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 you pay for premium products, you know, you should have premium service. Right. Yeah, so, uh, and then here too, Mike, I'm seeing here too, mm -hmm. another problem here, there's no nail plate here. Correct. Yep. There's no nail plate. So this pipe, these two pipes here, mm -hmm. you know, they can face eminent, uh, right. uh, eminent danger. And again, these are sewer lines, you know. These uh, are sewer drain lines. lines. Drain lines. You know, so yeah, water's so running through them constantly. No nail plate. Water running through, 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 through them constantly. Yeah. So uh, a little nail you hit, uh, you hit up there could be could be a potential problem. Yeah. yeah, there's no nail plate there. And then you come here too. You come here. There's none here. They all, they all need to be protected. A nail plate. So if you look at this wood here, this is why, you know, I insist that we do pre drywall inspections on all of my projects. You know, you can call it a pre-sheet rock, pre-sheet rock installation before they cover the walls. What can we find? You see this wood here? This wood here is already gone. And this is a sign that you may start having ants that come in here or, or, or bugs, right? And guess what? Once they cover this, that's a problem. So this one here, you know, you see that all the way down? It, it has it has to be changed. It, you know, the inspector, the inspector is just recommending this. You see another one here? You see that? That's not good. Imagine if they cover this. This is not good. We don't know whatever 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 material is here, but this entire plank it has to be changed. So this is why you know a pre-drywall is a must. So if you see here. This is an external wall. So, on this external wall, it is those, Mike, how do you, how do you call these ones? 
it is uh, cross bracing. It is uh, cross bracing is what we could call it, but um, we call it bracing basically. Okay, yeah. but, oh bracing. So yeah. this, 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 so this is this this here's bracing, right? Yes. But but it's funny how this is supposed to be flipped the other way. Is that correct? Like uh, like uh, if you look at this wall, here, uh -huh. it's flipped the right way. Okay, if you look at this wall here, you see the cross bracing there. You see how it's flipped. Good. You see how it's flipped there? You see the cross bracing there? See how it's flipped? Look down. You see how it's flipped? But if you come here on this wall, you see how they put it the other way around? Yeah, this is because sometimes these builders, they just take got people from the streets and they come and do work here and they don't do it to perfection. You see that? That is not right. That has to be changed. Another word for that is blocking. Blocking? Yes. That's right. Uh, why, is it, why is it important, Mike? Well, it does it does uh, help with stability of exterior walls, like you said. Okay. Uh, you know. Okay. Tornadoes, stuff like that. I mean, you really want as much. That's why they have three in there. They have three in there. Okay. But usually, it's, it's still lacking. You it's know, still lacking some. some of these walls. It's not any bracing. Okay. Blocking. Okay. So you know, like if you look over here, it's not any. Uh, okay. Wall, so. So it, it's, it's called bracing or blocking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it helps. It helps to hold hold a wall in terms of any. Rupture like tornadoes, high winds, high winds and yeah, really high winds, tornadoes, tornadoes and everything. Over time, to you know, fifty years from now, you want it to be steady. To know? be steady, okay. You know that that helps. That cross bracing, cross the, block, blocking, cross blocking. Mm -hmm. Same thing over here, Mike. I, yeah. I see. Is the same thing here? Yeah. Yeah. So cross blocking. Like this is this is uh this kind of helps to stabilize the wall. The wall. Ah, okay. But if you look at these walls, okay, no blocking at okay. All, so. Oh, but Mike, but this wall. This is not an exterior wall, so it's okay. No, it's not an exterior. Yeah, wall. but this, but 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 this here is an exterior wall. Correct. Yep. So it, it, it's a, it, it's it's supposed to have the blocking. Right, right. Okay. So we'll ask them, hey, why? Check that frame. I did take a picture of that one. Okay. Come over on this side right here. This side right here. Right here. You look up. Uh huh. You see that that, that uh, rafter right there? Yeah, the rafter. Yes. Yeah. The joist. Right here. Look. Oh, okay. You yeah. see that? You see this? You see this? So this, you see, this is why a pre-drywall inspection is very important. You see this? You don't want this because you never know whatever uh, material may be out here on this plank here. No, they need to change it, right? Go, you 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 paid. The system repair to change. It. Yes, you paid. You paid for premium plank, so you right. should have premium job done. Right. Yes, this is why pre-drywall. It's pretty bad on that end like that to be, you know. That's, Exa exactly. That's like at the end, so it's like that's without like, a load on that. That's right. You, you know. That's right. So like if, 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 you know, if too, too much load go over there, right. it, it could it could be some potential problem. Right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Good.